Alright guys, welcome back for some more Shenmue. We're currently off to the antique shop to see what our father had on hold for us. If you remember in the last part, Innocent told us that um, the antique shop was holding something for Rio, so we're just gonna go check that out right now. So, and I think it's a cutscene right now, so enjoy. Excuse me. Oh. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madame Butterfly, don't you? You... Your Hazuki Sensei's... Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father... Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh, yes, it was very important, so I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. Now, first time when I played this game, I was like, what the f popsicle sticks am I supposed to do now? But, of course, that's why you're watching this Let's Play right now. So, first of all, well, you're going to want to go back to Rhea's household, but before you do that, you are going to want to go to the Tomato Convenience Store, which I'm going to cut out, and you're going to want to buy a torch. I think you're going to need a battery and a light bulb, so get those three things. Hi, Rio. And I really did not mean to talk to her. So let's go back to the household right now. I'm just gonna cut it out. Books are. Yes? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design? It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. Yeah, I had to cut ahead right here since uh, I got lost in Rio's house yet again, damn it. So, here's the innocent cutscene. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? 
The snow ring, the two stars, and the sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks. Jeez, why is innocent always so goddamn depressing? It's like the way she talks and the way she looks is just like so blank. So anyway, snow ring, two stars and one sword. The Hazuki family crest. So now you wanna you gonna wanna take a trip to the dojo, because that's where you're gonna need to be. So let's take a trip to the dojo. Alright, now remember these two things from before when we took them off the wall? No, you're gonna wanna do this and... Wait for it. Wait for it. Does that this here? look familiar? Why is that here? So yes, what you're gonna wanna do is get the sword hand guard and put it in right here. Okay. Alright, let's go to the other one. Which is right here. And now let's see if there's anything under here that could like possibly used as a switch and yes there is so now remember that key that i told you to get in the previous video that was in your father's room you're gonna need that for this box right here so if you can't remember where the key was it was actually in your father's room drawer i think it was uh just go just look at my previous video and it will be there so And I don't know why it's not registering. Ah, oh, I had to press Y, that's why. Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... Now, if you were like most people and got the sword first, you'd probably be most likely trying to put the sword handguard on the sword, because, you know... That would make perfect sense, but you actually don't. So, remember, I actually didn't want to do this. But why is a sword with no handguard in this box? See, that's what makes you think that the handguard was for that sword, but it wasn't. It was actually for that wall, so remember that slit in the wall from, you know, a couple of seconds ago? We're going to need to put the sword into that whole thing so let's do it why is that here what's this slot for now why is Rio got his eyes closed I don't know okay Now that is some crazy shit right there. Wow, so it was a switch. I wish I had something like that leading into my room where you needed a sword and a freaking handguard thing. Because that would be awesome. <laughs> 